Holy poop. What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris. And welcome back to some more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Or Oot, as some people might say. Uh, this is the Water Temple. <laughs> and I am scared to do this. Uh, last episode, I actually described my pains of going through this before. And in case you didn't watch last episode, essentially, I was playing this game for the very first time. I'd seen Let's Plays of it before, though. Actually, I think one or two Let's Plays, like, a year before watching this. It's a Capri Sun's Let's Play, actually. And anyways, so... I got stuck. Uh, I was playing... Uh, the reason why I was playing Ocarina of Time, though, was because my... Uh, my blah blah my my internet was broken. So I'm like, ah, well, it's just not really tough. I don't need internet for that. And then I got stuck in here. I'm like, well, crap. How the heck do I get out of here? And I couldn't figure it out because I didn't have freaking internet. Sheesh. And it took me like three hours. And we just spent the past like one minute just walking in circles. I apologize. I apologize. I wasn't sure if that room over there was one that had been in or not. Um. Okay. Oops. So keep in mind, I still don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I'm kind of like Lukagen going to this. I'm completely blind. Well, that's not true. I've seen enough Let's Plays of it. I should know by now, but I don't. Uh, we do have the iron boots. So I guess what I'm going to do here is start from the top. And then make my way down or something, I guess. I don't freaking know. We'll just have to see how this goes, really. <clears throat> I'm also not entirely sure where... Alright, do, do I pull this? Let's go take a look at what's this way first. Uh huh. This is a, whoa! Did you see that pretty good teleporting, teleporting, teleporting hookshot switch? Or just hookshot, really? Hookshot target, actually. Okay, so there's nothing this way. See, it's like, I don't even remember this. Like, this doesn't even, like, open up a memory for me. Oh, I see. We pull this out, and then we come in it from the other side and push it. So we can go to that room. I got you. Can I push it? Like. Oh no, it gets stuck there. I was like, can I pull it? Can I keep pulling it down this corridor? But no, I cannot. But alas, I could not do no such thing. Alright, so that's one thing I've done. <laughs> but that's enough for an episode, right guys? <laughs> Man. Uh, you know what? You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna go through this entire temple and I'm gonna know exactly what I'm doing until I get to like a certain door where I don't have a key for or something. And then I'm gonna be stuck and it's gonna suck a lot. Now, I think this over here requires a... Um, I don't think we could. This could reach, right? No, cannot. All right. Good to know. Good to know. So that means we've covered the first floor. Oh well, we can't right now. And we can't access anything on the other floors. I don't think, right? I don't think so. Oh, we can go to that room right there, maybe. I don't really know, actually. Let's go inside of our freaking thing, our menu. And put on iron boots. Yeah, I really don't understand what the thought process Nintendo had for this was. Like, making the iron boots a quest status item. I really don't see why. It's like, why didn't they just make it a normal item? I don't think anyone will ever know, to be honest. Alright, let's go into this room down here. Down here. Make my way through the rooms. Oh, nice. We can't actually land here. Oh, we can't use our sword down here? I didn't know that. Weird. All right, it was this way. Is this the room we were just pushing that rock in? No, it's not. It's a different. What the heck are these things? Are these the same thing? Stinger, destroy it before it flies Okay. Uh, well, it's kind of hard to destroy it. We can't use our sword. We can't really use anything, actually. Wait, why are we doing this? We could just skip all this, probably. All this, probably. Where are we now? Hello. Hello. I already feel like I'm doing this completely wrong. I don't remember any. This is so weird. Normally, I'm really good at remembering stuff in games. Hello? Really? That's weird. Is there another hookshot switch? Oh, there is. Okay. Haha, <laughs> you almost got me, game. In fact, you did kind of for a second. Yeah, and most games are just like. You don't think you'll remember stuff, but it's like, I with me, I remember pretty much everything. Well, I don't remember everything. Like, I couldn't recite to you the entire forest temple or something. But, I mean, if if you throw me in the forest temple, then, like, you know, I could go through it pretty, like, easily. Dude, seriously? Seriously? Alright, let's just... Is that good enough? Dude! No! I had it! That was probably good. Uh, this freaking control. The sensitivity is terrible. 
<laughs> All right. Well then. Walk very slowly with our arm boots. <laughs> it's so stupid. I just, like you take off the arm boots, and then it's like you know. Ooh, it's gonna be in here. No, I'm never gonna make it in time. No. Oh, cool. We can actually start right here. Um. Oh yeah, it's funny how it's like you take off the arm boots, but it's like you know in reality that shouldn't really do anything. Oh my god, in reality that shouldn't like do anything because you're still carrying the arm boot, so why like you shouldn't still be walking equally as heavy? Zero sense, zero of the senses. Find many hidden things. Blah 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 blah. Let's see what the map looks like without the compass. Ooh, ooh. As I said, there's only two floors, but then I remembered. Oh yeah, there's more floors than that. We just haven't unlocked them yet. All right, yeah, spin attack, but not because I failed. <laughs> okay, so that's this room taken care of. That's good, <laughs> I guess, unless there's something else in here. But it doesn't look like I don't see any keys. You know what? Having the compass, I have six months skull chest. That's awesome. Having the compass, I feel like will help a lot because then I don't have to like go. Oh no, where did I miss a key? Because well, it's kind of impossible to miss a key when you when you have a freaking compass to tell you where the keys are. Oh no! I mean, well, all the ch chests are not necessarily where all the keys are. Okay, making good progress. Is there a thing over here? There is, you asshole. You're not supposed to go this Whoa, wait a minute. Okay, I was like, why is that roof go lower? I thought maybe there was like a secret passage up there or something. But no, alas, there is not. Poor Yurik. We knew him well. Alright, let's put on my boots again. My boots! Uh, I can't access that door. There's nothing on the second floor there. I think that's it for this floor. Yes, it is. Okay. So now we go to the bottom floor. And then we go around in a circle there and see what we can find. See, I'm doing this greatly. Except I think most people start from the bottom floor and make their way up, right? I feel like that's right, but I don't really freaking know, to be honest. Hmm. Four chests down here. Two chests there and two chests there. For a grand total of eight chests, and I totally didn't have to count on my fingers to make sure it was eight chests. <laughs> okay, I actually did. Uh, don't tell anybody, please. It's kind of embarrassing that, you know, I'm so bad at math and adding four plus two plus two in my head without my fingers. <sighs> I remember in grade school, every, like, every teacher was like, you have to stop counting with your fingers. You're not going to be allowed to do that in high school. At least I was in my school. And it wasn't at me in particular, but it was at, like, you know, everyone in the class. Can I use make a ton hammer down here? I cannot. Okay, good to know. Can I use bomb? No, I was like, can I use bombs down here? <laughs> what a stupid question. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I don't. I feel like a lot of people still use their fingers to count though. Not because like you know, they can't figure out what four plus two plus two is, but it's just easier, right? I don't know, maybe I don't really know to be honest. Maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe I'm just stupid. What? That actually scared me. I wasn't sure what that was. I thought that was an enemy or something. Like, what kind of enemy is standing on the bottom of the floor like this? Oh. Oh, yeah, it's Naruto. Oh, you, if I'm right, Link? You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiance, Naruto! King of the ninjas! Is that what Naruto. No, he wanted to be the Hokage of the ninjas! <gasps> Le gasp. I never forgot the vows we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to kept me to have kept me waiting these seven long years. Fish boobs. Look, she has fish boobs. But now is that the time to talk about love? As you've already seen, Zoro, our uh, hidden leaf village, totally frozen. It's like it's winter or something. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet! Well, actually, your father's okay. I want to save them all as Hokage! You! You have to help me! This is a quest for me, the woman who is going to be your wife! Then master the Shadow Clone Jutsu! Link! You have to help me destroy the evil ones in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple! There are three places where you can change the water level! This is hurting my voice. I'll lead the way! Follow me quickly! Where we go? Whoa! Dang, kick that body. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Dang, that was sexy. And I know it, actually. Uh, wow, that was great. That was fan diddly tastic. Grab this pot. Grab it! I can't grab the pot. It says to grab, but I can't grab the pot. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so that door's locked. Yes, it is. 
Okay, so so far this is a very linear path, which is good because once it's not linear, I'm screwed. Uh, huh, okay, so I just go up. I believe there's only one way to go here. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, is there more here? No, I'm just gonna keep swimming in the camera just to make sure there's no like, passages down here. Oh, there's one right there. That's, I feel like that right there is a lot, one thing that I'm going to forget or like, you know, have, have the potential to forget. All right. Uh, I'm gonna be smart here actually, and I'm gonna open this door. Oh, what? Oh, what? What are these? Have we examined these before? I don't think we have. Spike! And for a little bit, tracks and spikes! Okay, so the way to get them to retract the spikes is to hit them with their shield. And they turn to rocks for some reason. I don't really care if they want to show them. Uh, it's unfortunate. And that only took one heart of damage. It's kind of shocking. Whoa! Haha! <laughs> it jumped towards me and then turned back into a rock. That's great. <gasps> is this gonna be the map? Oh, I think it is. I don't actually know. That's why I actually said the map because I'm actually not sure. Actually, did I say actually enough times here? I'm not entirely sure. Actually, actually. All right. So I haven't told you guys yet this, and if I talk about this in another episode or another series, it might really date this content. We got the dungeon map, but uh, my tongue's been swollen for the past three and a half days now. So I don't know if you've noticed, but my voice does sound a little bit like this because my tongue's swollen. I don't really know why, and I kind of don't want to go to the doctors based on the fact that I went to the doctor once. What's long ago? <laughs> and I went for the doctor once for when I had this exact same thing happen, and my throat started to swell. So I could have died because you know if my throat swelled up enough, I couldn't have been able to breathe, and then I would have died. But they couldn't figure out what was wrong, so I don't want to go wait in a doctor's room for like five plus hours. And I guess for all you non-Canadians, um, when you go to the hospital, you, you wait there until, like, you everyone takes turns going to the doctor. It's first come, first serve kind of thing. And, and the typical waiting time is five hours sitting in the waiting room. Oh, God, it's so terrible. I hate it. By the way, this is four hours win. I believe this is actually the first time I've used it. I think I just saw, like, a green part. Oh, yeah, Navi is going through the wall. You see that? I saw some green pop up there. Well, anyways, four hours win. You cast the watch so you make a green thing. Yay! And then we come down here and we go. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, we should probably examine. Can we examine? Yes, we can. Let's check it so that we actually make sense while we're doing this. Those who wish to open the path sleeping by the bottom of the lake must play the song Path by the Royal Family. I wonder what that could possibly be. I did it. Yay! So, yeah, I guess my. Probably better sense of judgment. I'm drinking an energy, energy drink right now, as I normally do when I record. Uh, it's probably a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. Based on the fact that, you know, my tongue's swollen and very sensitive right now, so... I'm probably real stupid. Okay, where is this gonna drop me? Not where I want it to drop me at all. Okay, that is most unfortunate. Why is my eye so itchy and irritated right now? Oh, I'm scratching. Oh, oh that, that's the spot right there. Oh, yeah. Actually, what, what was that about? I don't know. I was gonna put. Ah, hold on, my eye. Ah, ah, oh no, my eyeball. Oh, sorry, my eye is really irritated, and I scratch it, which just causes it to be more irritated. So, how are we gonna get fire into these poles? By shooting arrows through the fire, which turns up in the fire. Except that wouldn't really work in real life, but it'd be really freaking cool. All right, and just to show off. Um, for the last one, we can actually use this fire as well. So, let's cast this fire with the coolest animation ever! Oh, it's so cinematic. Oh, my eyes watering so much right now, I can barely even open it. Ah, oh, I feel like she's gonna wash it out. Oh, but I want to end this episode first. But we have a few minutes to go. Oh no, it's what the heck are these things? Shell blade! It's a turtle muscles, it's a weak point. Ah, oh, there's a turtle muscle. Why are you even giving me that? Why? Why would you? Ow! Seriously, if they attack you by shaking their booties at you, what is the point of opening their mouths? I don't understand. Maybe they just do that. Ooh, I never thought about that before. Shake. I want to see you shake booty. Ah! Uh, ooh! E! Uh, Johnny Bravo! Yeah! Uh, oh, cool. I didn't think spinning atta spin attack would work when you're locked on like that. I'm, my eye is watering more than like... It has ever before in my entire life right now. It's kind of crazy. He found us, Bucky! Yay, so happy. Is this anything? I keep seeing these. They look like they would be... Are they supposed to be windows or like... But we're underground, so why... Why? I don't... What? What? 
What? Why did I run to that wall? It's probably because I looked down my timer to see you, and then I wasn't paying attention to what I was going. Uh, might as well show off. Ah, uh, my eye. Right, I'm sorry. What Forrest did? For Wars, win does when you use it a second time. You can't Forrest win, and you get the, you get the choice to either return to the warp point I created or dispel the warp point. Let's return to the warp point and see what it does. Ooh, it's so green. And it teleports you to where the green dot was. See, that's where the thing is. We're gonna go back in here. And then go through here. Uh, for Wars Win, the reason why I go, I'm doing it this way is because For Wars Win actually only teleports you to the last entrance you entered. So if I entered the room down below and then like went up here and cast For Wars Win before going in and out the store, it would actually teleport me to the beginning of the room down there. So I don't really want to teleport to the room down there because I would make that entirely pointless. Ooh. Oh no. Wait, isn't there? Where is that second floor? Oh, it's over. Oh, it's that way. Oh, so I can't even get there right now. Okay, I thought maybe I could like somehow trick it to make it go that way, but no, I cannot trick it to make it go that way. And now the water level's down here as well. Yay, there's a bit of water. Oh my god, there's more blade things. Spikes. Spiky balls. Spiky balls. All well, the spiky balls. Balls of steel and such and such, etc., etc. To be honest, I probably should have explored the rest of down here before bringing the water down. Just to confirm there was nothing else, like, you know what to do. Um, nothing down here, so let's take off the iron boots and go up here. Come on, Linky Poo. When life hands me lemons, I make beef stew. Alright, can we make that shop? Find out in the next exciting episode of Let's Play Poopasaur. Oh, we never did look at a map, did we? Ooh, such complicated, much wow. I don't know why I want to turn to a tiger. I'm still on the first floor, really. Oops. I, the whole reason I went here was to grab my hookshot. And I, that's the one thing I didn't do. Alright. Hookshot! Aid me in my time of need! It's not going to, is it? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, well then. At least we can confirm that there is nothing down in this room, guys. Right? And that's the whole reason I came down here. <laughs> I think I do know what to do next, but I'm just playing stupid. I'm just kidding. I'm not. I just, I kind of want to check out all the rooms just so I don't miss anything. In the order that they are set for me to check them out. Well, not really, but. By the way, I have those fires light over there. For one, that would, that would be really freaking damn slow. And for two, and for, for, for two, uh, oh yeah, why, why are they, like, who lit them? Why are they on fire? Are they automatic torches? No freak way! It's like they like those clap on, clap on lights where you clap and the lights turn on. You know what I'm talking about? <sighs> okay, push up. What the fudgios? What did that just do? Man, can I even go back up? Oh, I can use a hook shot. Can I use a hook shot in the water? No, I have to do it from the bottom. <laughs> Look at Link's partially closed eye. <laughs> did you guys see it? Maybe not, but maybe you did. Let's go this way. You know, the only way we can go. You know what I'm saying, yo, bro? And float up! Whee! Whee! Oh, nice. Where are we this time? How do all these animals survive in this, like, stone structure? I don't really understand. What happened if I jumped down there? Probably terrible, terrible thing. Let's do it! YOLO! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus, man! Okay, now what? Am I stuck down here forever? I'm actually not sure what the heck I can do from here. Uh-huh. There's no switch or anything. Is it up here? Oh, I see. <laughs> I was like, I saw a switch, but I'm like, there's no way I could hit that switch from down here. And I saw a switch. I mean, this switch right over here. And I was like, yeah, there's no way I could hit that switch. Anyways, I guess we'll call an episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hit the switch and the water comes up and it's like zip zop, zip bump, actually. Uh, whee! And then, okay, I can just walk on water. That's pretty cool. Uh, thanks a lot for watching! In the next episode, we will go through this room. Just kidding, we're doing this episode. <laughs> you guys are cool. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!